We okay. Have a, a poetry slam today. It is a poetry slam because um, I uh, UPS Ben sent this in, and he did it for uh, he did it for Heller's show, and he also did it for <laughs> Nine to Noon. So I don't know if those guys read these on the air or not. I don't um, know. Apparently, by a lot of the listeners that are criticizing us for some of the things that we say, we're supposed to listen all day and make notes when other shows say something. So I don't know if they did this, but went to chat GPT mm -hmm. and said, write a poem about the Drew and KB show. <laughs> and we have a poem. All right. And that's P O M E a poem of, uh, we the, have a, uh, is it an iambic pentameter? No, I don't know got? what it is. I, can't, I don't know how to break it down. But, okay. Uh, in the realm of sports talk, a show prevails that Drew and KB show where passion entails on 97.3, the game's thriving domain, Drew and KB, the hosts. Their voices remain. Drew Olson, a sports veteran, wise and keen. His knowledge and insights, a vibrant scene with expertise and anecdotes. He leads the way, guiding the show where sports discussion sway. Beside him stands KB, a voice of fire. With passion Fire. and energy never to tire. His wit and humor, a lively repartee. Repartee. It's supposed to be repartee. <laughs> repartee. repartee. But it doesn't matter because it's a poem. It doesn't have to rhyme. That's a lively right. repartee, bringing laughter and joy for all to see. And there, comple completing this dynamic trio is Hunter. What? The producer behind the show with diligence and skill. He orchestrates the scene, ensuring smooth operations, a well-oiled machine. Together, they form a formidable team, bringing sports analysis like a vibrant stream. From Badgers to Packers and Bucks to Brewers' plight, they cover it all, shining a radiant light, their banter and camaraderie, a joyful sound, engaging listeners, their voices renowned. From listener calls to interviews grand, they connect with the fans across the land through wins and losses and highs and lows the true and kb show their passion shows uniting sports lovers far and wide bringing stories and insights side by side so let's raise a toast to this remarkable crew drew kb and hunter loyal and true on 97.3 the game's cherished stage they entertain and inform with sports as their gauge in the realm of sports talk they hold their place spreading joy and knowledge with a steady pace the drew and kb show a beacon so bright guiding fans through the sports world's delight. Wow. So. After hearing that, I'm wow. not really that worried about AI taking over our society anymore. No. So that got me thinking. Oh, boy. This cannot be good, Hunter. This cannot be good. It won't be. KB was thinking. But it might be really good. Don't think. It only hurts the ball club. What are I you decided, thinking about? I didn't want to go through a big, long poem of you know that length right. for everybody else that was so long i decided that we're gonna have chat bt gpt write haikus about the personalities on the game this reminds me we gotta get ted perry back ted perry king can, of haikus he he can he can rip off a, ki a haiku like that he can just go bang what is it four seven five four? seven five five seven five yep. 17 syllables three lines Five syllables, seven syllables, five syllables. Here we go. Mike Heller. Haiku about Mike Heller. Get your finger snaps ready. On the airwave strong, Mike's voice carries tales and cheers. Radio's heartbeat. <laughs> oh. Such a coffee house. This is a bar. We're turning it's it into a, a coffee house. We're having a poetry, poetry slam. Poetry slam in the Central Standard <laughs> Distillery Timeout Sports Lounge. Somebody get that coffee-flavored vodka here because we're turning it this to a coffee house right now. Uh, here we go. Um, Drew's For Drew, Drew's voice on the air shares sports knowledge and insight. Listeners enriched. <laughs> oh, is that beautiful? Uh, let's see. Here we got one. Uh, I'll do They gathered this one. Uh, KB's lively voice, sports wisdom with passion shines. Fans' heart leap with joy. <laughs> I, I don't think so. I don't Hunter's, think so either. Uh, uh, Hunter's, Hunter. Hunter's voice of force on the airways. He delivers insight aplenty. That's beautiful. Now, um, ah, John Coon. <laughs> oh, John Coon. Coon. John Coon. 
Wait, how many syllables is coo? coo. <laughs> it right. could be five. It could be three. Wow, that's it could be, true. It could be seven. Coo. Um, that is true. Right. Uh, to to look at it that way, I never really thought about it. Right, the that. classic haiku is five seven five, but you could make but three five three too if you right, had to. Right, you but, can. But um, it's supposed to be seventeen syllables. But coo or coons is. Let me find this here. Um, gridiron warrior. Coon <laughs> smashes through the line. Packers power back. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man, this is awesome. This is just so, this is amazing. Let's see. Let's find the, um, let's find uh, Brian Butches. Here we go for Butchie. Here we go. Where is he? I had it right here. Uh, come on now. No, I misplaced it. Ah, you misplaced Butchie. I misplaced Butchie, but now I have it. Okay. Tall and strong, he stands. Butch's hoops prowess commands. Shooting with sure hands. We have, um, we have, of course, red hot Tim Scott. Oh, there you go. Tim's voice. Paints the air, melodies of news and flair. Radio's legend. <laughs> oh, good God. Okay, we got it. All right, let's go. Bill Schmidt. Oh, Billy, 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 Billy. With voice crisp and clear, Bill Schmidt's words flow like a stream. Wisdom on the air. <laughs> Uh, we right, have, right. Uh, of course, we have uh, Doug, mm. Russ Douglas. Doug's voice, smooth and clear, guides listeners with expertise, radiant presence. And then, uh, last but la last but not least, here we have Armin Sarian. Oh boy, words spill gracefully. Armin's spoken brush unveils. Verse blooms like spring's bud. <laughs> oh God! So high well, haikus. Kyle and Racine just hit us up. He said somehow that was worse than Zabe reading the quarterback version of the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. <laughs> <laughs> Which they want Jay Mathis to record. Ugh. They want him involved in this thing. I, I said Jay's going to be in with us Friday. I don't know if he's going to do a remake of the Edmund Fitzgerald well. with. Packers quarterbacks history layered into it. But 